How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Birds On. On today's hiking menu, we have the Wadi Wadi Track at Stanwall Park, New South Wales. All right, so pretty much I'm right next to the uh, the um, tap on for the, uh, for the for the train, and this is where the hike starts. So <laughs> you can pretty much get off the train and get started on this hike. As you can see, the further we go up here, the signage is here. Wadi Wadi track. Looking a little ominous, but let's go. Eh? Pretty much as soon as you go past the train station, there it is just like a rainforest right off the bat. This looks like it's going to be an interesting hike, so let's keep going. Just around that bend there that we came up. There is a, uh, you can see my sweaty face, just around that bend around that corner, there was a crossroad. We were meant to go straight and unfortunately, unfortunately, it's been closed off. It's already dangerous as it is with warning signs uh, without us going through that area, but now they've completely closed it off saying too dangerous. Uh, unfortunately the opposite way the only other way to go is this way and it doesn't necessarily get us exactly to the spots we wanted but we're gonna give it a crack and see how we go what is this hey? oh. slowly making my way up it's been uh, all uphill since all the way down there somewhere and uh, it's getting quite exhausting. I mean, it's probably good training for uh, for August. I'm hoping to attempt Roy's Peak. We'll have to see how that one goes. But uh, I'm gonna have to actually start going to the gym, get some additional workouts done. I think. Oh, decent height. <laughs> Looks like we've hit the peak. We're very high up. House is all the way in the distance there and the sea as well. Mountains over there in the distance as well. That rock doesn't look too happy to have anyone on it so probably not going to jump on it there's a nice little side alley that looks a little bit too creepy oh. let's keep going eh? oh. Is there a warning sign? oh there is a warning sign I mean yes yes it is we just came from the other side Okay, little tiny little waterfalls up there, really caffeinated looking uh, <laughs> creek here. This is where your trekking poles come handy. Yeah, except I'll be using no hands. Oh, good luck. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Did not stack it. Naughty, naughty. No more leg in the creek like last time. Okay, if you can hear that in the background, it is cars. We, since we had to take that quick little detour uh, and avoid, unfortunately, the section that we wanted to go through because it was closed off, 
uh, we had to sort of deviate down another path and unfortunately it took us towards a car park that starts off a different loop in that area uh, so the downside to that means we sort of had to rejig our, our hike slightly and we had to sort of walk through a little bit of suburbia and then get across this road to basically get back onto uh, this section of the hike so which is where we're starting now um, I'm no more than about I don't know 15 20 meters from the road so uh, you could probably hear the car still going past but at least at this point the hike is starting back up and uh, yeah this is looking pretty thick and full of it but uh, after that uh, steep incline at the start we're okay now I think we'll keep going anyways all right so I almost walked past this but uh, like a private bench for lovers. It looks like a lover's memorial here with two big hearts. <laughs> so let's go to the front. Let's go watch out. Oh yeah. Look at this. Little lover's little bench. Yeah, you can bring bring the missus. <laughs> bring who you want. Have a seat. Have a view of dense bush. And avoid any spiders trying to crawl on you. Almost walked past this one as well. Check out this hollowed out tree. Except uh, it's still growing. It took an absolute beating by the looks of it. Good to see it's still happening. Still doing its thing. Fire in the hole. What is this? <laughs> Little staircase up here. The uh, the side sniper location. Oh yeah. A couple of overgrown benches here. Turned it into a little lookout. Getting a bit of a downhill at this point here. I mean it's great for my legs after the uphill we just had before. Oh, look at that gnarly looking tree. Look at that. Downhills, I can handle pretty well. It's the uphills that kill me. Oh. Another look out, eh? Let's check it out. Yep, water break for sure. Alright, so we're back on track. We've refueled, eaten a little bit, and continued on. And from this point, we can actually hear the falls. Sounds like it's down in that direction. You can probably hear it, uh, hear it about now. There's two falls, but unfortunately, uh, after checking the trails the f the second one doesn't come along here and i believe it's actually the second one anyways is on private property so we cannot go to that one but we can at least get to this one and check it out Before we continue with the video I do need to give you guys a quick update as to what is going on. So this section of the hike is the top of Kelly's waterfall. Just before we got here we found the steps leading to a car park area and thought we had gone the wrong way. We backtracked and found this small area leading off the side. This section was dangerous, it had some narrow sections that eventually led us to a very steep incline that needed rope assistance to get down. We decided not to continue down this path as the GPS was showing us off track so we doubled back to the main track and continued down the other path. This is where we ended up at the top of Kelly's Fall. Now that you're all caught up, we can continue the show.
like a quick little recording of this beautiful little waterfall. There's uh, a little lookout over here that I've been told, so let's take a quick peek. Oh, squeeze up through here. The lens is looking a little dirty. I only would light, I think. Ooh. Whoa, here we go. That's a pretty big drop for a waterfall. Let's try and get a little bit higher. Okay, well, that was definitely a dangerous thing to attempt. So now we're down here and the hopes is to get to closer to the base of that waterfall that you saw from the top. So hopefully that's the last of the repelling, but uh, we'll soon see. All right, all right, all right. A little bit sketchy again, a couple of really narrow spots, but we're hitting the bottom. At least we get to see the waterfall, the things I do to bring these views. Oh, that looks really nice. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's let's. Oh, look at that! Don't want to fall down there. Got to be real careful here. Real careful. It's getting a bit wet. A bit slippery. Slippery. Oh, this, this side might be. Oh. Be real careful here. And I think we've made it. We've made it. Oh, and we get, we get the view. Holy shit. Wow. Check that out. <laughs> so, when we took the photos, it was way up there. Yeah. And, uh, I look, I say it's worth it. Very sketchy coming down, but, uh, definitely worth. Let's check out over here a little bit. Hopefully you can hear me with all the roar of this, uh, this waterfall. Look, let's just check that out again. I just, I, I just can't get over it. Look at that. Check that out. So yeah, we started all the way up there. And uh, a bit sketchy getting down, just, just a little, but um, we made it. Yeah, I'd say it's worth it. I'd say it's worth the view. I'd say it's worth it. What a way to end the hike. And now for the ratings. Even though the hike started at the train station, this is not a regular stop for some of the trains on this line. You will need to keep an eye out for it. Car wise, there isn't much of an area to park, so this is one of the rare hikes that you would be better off catching a train. Or you could start at another section such as Kelly's Waterfall, as there is a car park there. I give it three trekking poles. Unfortunately, our hike was an improvised one, as the main section of the Wadi Wadi track was closed down. The section you saw us hike was meant to be run the opposite way, with us heading downhill towards the station at the end of the hike, so I can only rate this shorter section as a four trekking bowl hike. Hopefully the track opens up soon so we can return and give it a proper go. The scenery was gorgeous, there was quite a few sections where you could enjoy a small view 
with the centerpiece being Kelly's waterfall. I give it four trekking poles. Overall, I can't quite give it a rating as we didn't get to the proper section of the Wadi Wadi track, but I can give the rear section a rating of four trekking poles. Special mentions, if this wasn't obvious, the main section of the track is currently closed, so you won't be able to reach it. You can, however, get to the Kelly's waterfall by following the track we did. Or if you prefer a gentle stroll with the family, I recommend going to Kelly's waterfall via the car park area, as there is also a picnic area you can use. And that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did, and if you did, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.